we're headed into the prize cards here for both of our players. Reggie Draco V, two copies of it in the prize cards here on the left side for Ian Robb. Yeah, that's a little unfortunate. It's a 3-3 line, so uh, really putting all of the eggs in one basket there. And yeah. the other side, it's not too bad. You can work with all those resources in the prize cards. Should be a pretty exciting game here, Boo. Oh, I'm excited indeed. We see one of those Iron Thorns in the prize cards. Two future booster capsules. Nothing too wild there for Fernando. But we'll see how all these prize cards come into play. Ian Rob looking at this giant hand <laughs> now after uh, drawing all those extra cards. We have the handshake. We're ready to get into our first Masters Top 8 match here at the World Championships in 2024. I'm super happy to see Iron Thorns EX here on our table. And it's going to start off just by attaching that Devil Turbo Energy and passing over to Ian Rob now. Going to yeah. start the turn here with an Ultra Ball, discarding those Dragon Pokemon straight into the discard pile. You love to see it. Sign me up. That's exactly where you want to see those Pokemon. Throw them into the discard pile as early as possible yeah. as you're trying to work towards one unique strategy with this deck using the Reggie Drago V Star to copy that Apex Dragon and see all of the different attacks that you could use in a matchup like this. Mainly something that knocks out Iron Thorns. <laughs> yes, so we see two of those Reggie Drago Vs are in the prize cards and they're both at the top. Like, what are the odds? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not going to get there, are we? <laughs> nope, uh, but there is still one Reggie Drago V in the deck there for Ian Rob as well. So yeah, that was the first deck search of the turn. Going to look through the resources here and uh, and this giant hand as well, kind of accounting for these prize cards and what strategies he has to work around when he doesn't have access to those cards that are being kept in the prize cards until we start taking some of those up. So taking notes here on the table, a lot of our uh, competitive pro Pokemon players do that to keep track of everything in the prize cards. We do see that Squawk ability as well hit the bench here for Ian Rob now. Of course, you have plenty of time here, 75 minutes in a top eight. So make sure to follow along as best as possible with all of your resources that you have. Get a good feel for what those prize cards are. And uh, there's no uh, surprise here. Uh, you need that Reggie Drago to last as long as possible. Uh, yeah, for sure. We need it to last because there's not any other ones to access currently for Ian Rob. So we're going to see a couple extra discards here off an additional Ultra Bolt, that Halucha, as well as that Dragapult. So we have a ton of attackers now. As Kyle was saying, uh, the way this dra deck works, Reggie Drago V-Star is able to copy the attacks from these Dragon Pokemon in the discard pile for its own energy requirement. And with that Apex Dragon move. We also have a Legacy V-Star ability on that Regidrago V-Star, allowing you to discard seven cards and then put two of any card in your discard pile into your hand as well. So usually that's a way to either duplicate your resources or get uh, attackers potentially in the discard or do both sometimes. So Ian Rob is playing through right now, ultra balling uh, two more cards here, getting that Curum out and uh yeah tons of resources to work with of course because i don't know how many mulligans we have but it was a lot <laughs> yeah and <so laughs> it certainly it leads to hands like this this is fantastic obviously in the window of the deck there we saw that canceling cologne you need to know where that is and sure enough maybe could find that later along the road it goes with the teal mask ogre pond for now and we won't see all these abilities, but you do see that Squawk Billy EX. And Woo. It's a fantastic addition to have here. The Look at switch this. is already you there. Called it. And it's time to motivate. We're motivating up in here with the Squawk Billy EX. I love that move. It's going to do that 20 damage, and then you attach two basic energies. Uh, from the discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. You saw those energies be put into the discard pile already off the Ultra Ball. So we got there on the first turn Ooh. here. Huge for Ian Rob. Crushing hammers are uh, coming through, but did we just fail them? Yeah, that was a Tails that we saw right there. And that is one of the four times that Ian will sweat during the game, as yes. every one of those hammers is so crucial. You want to avoid that as all, at all costs, because each one is essentially another turn. Squawkabilly not going to be here very long. It's going to get knocked out by Iron Thorns. And to have two energies on this Reggie Drago right now means that you have potential to be attacking next turn. That's exactly where you want to be. You yep. can be knocking out Pokemon right now. 
Yeah, Ian Rob has set everything up thanks to so many cards in the hand. Following through with the strategy, using that uh, squawk ability was huge there. Fernando is going to have to respond here now, attaching these energy with that Giovanni's charisma. Yeah, I love to see it. Charisma's kind of working against him. Negative Riz as you give your <laughs> opponent a free energy, but it does allow you to gain that lightning energy, and two attackers are ready to roll. Quick prize cards fall in here, but uh, I think Ian's knocking at the door. Exactly. I agree with that, Kyle. Iron Thorns EX able to take those prize cards out here off of that Squawk ability. Going down to prize cards. We're flying now here, Kyle. Reggie Drago V Star being evolved into here for Ian Rob. And uh, we are going into this turn here. We have two Teal Mask Ogre Pawn EX to be able to uh, draw some additional cards here as well for Ian. Wow, we. Okay. If the Dragapult is in the discard pile, I believe it is. There's it potential is. to yeah. spread the damage pretty nicely here. 200 to the active, 6 to the bench. And then Boss's Orders is in the hand, which means a four prize turn is available next turn as long as these energies remain on this Pokemon. Could we see this go down here right now, Kyle? This might be a faster match than I was anticipating. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure well. if we're seeing the damage counters on the bench just yet, so... Yes, uh, yeah, I don't think so just yet. Just going to take a massive hit there on that Iron Thorns EX. Uh, thanks to that Apex Dragon. Now it's just holding on there, and we're diving into the deck here on Fernando's side with an Arvin. So taking a look at the hands here and then selecting these two cards. It's going to be an item card as well as a tool card in that future booster energy capsule, allowing you to boost up your damage a little bit. 20 additional damage as well as free retreat. All right, it looks like Ian going with uh, safety first as uh, the Hisuian Gudra was the attack that was used there. So uh, with the, uh, Ooh, gotcha. the iron rolling over there. Eight rolling iron. Resistance uh, from this next attack. That means uh, Reggie Drago's hanging out for quite some time. All right, well, we're going to see this uh, attack from the Iron Thorns EX here. Does have to move that energy onto the bench and... Uh, Ian Rob over here. Thanks. We see that Hisuian Gudra popping up. It's like, um, He's like, man. uh, <laughs> I'm in a pickle. Dragon Ball could have just won, but I guess safety's cool. Uh, it, this does lead to situations where uh, you could move to another Pokemon later on. Of course, you just take a knockout here as well. And yeah. if this is the sole Iron Thorns on the other side, you can uh, take an easy knockout with one of those other dragon types you have uh, in the discard pile. Should all line up just fine, but... Having only uh, one die on you feels pretty good. One die, yes, exactly. Look at the die differences right here, yeah. right now, Kyle. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> we would love to be drawing some cards, though, but uh, unfortunately... You know, sometimes <laughs> just simple Pokemon's good Pokemon. Attach, yes. energy, play supporter, exactly. click all the boxes, don't retreat. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't do that one. <laughs> We're just going to see that Iono here from Ian Rob. So both of these players going to draw into some new hands after their uh, current hands are going to the bottom of the deck. Fernando into four cards, Ian Rob into a fresh six. Yep, rolling out over and over again. The 80 he, uh, resistance that you have on that next attack is going to be so helpful to sticking around in this game. And exactly. uh, Fernando needs answers. He does not have another Pokemon on his bench. He could get benched out. Yeah, Ian Rob tanking himself here thanks to that Hisuian Gudra. We're getting gooey in here, Kyle Fernando over here on this other side. Pokey Gear 3.0 being played right now. Did you see that th that there was a uh, draw of a supporter off of it though? Looks like taking a quick look at the resources so far in Ian Rob's discard pile. Remember, we're working off the Iono hand, so not that many cards here. For Fernando, we're working through the turn. Yep. Ooh, I guess maybe that professor's Pol research was the Pokey Gear supporter. C, seven cards, a little bit of lightning would be helpful. Oh no! But there's a crushing hammer. There was an energy attached last turn, and tails, anyways. Oh, tails on the crushing hammer. You want to get those discards, but if you cannot hit a heads. Oh, we're stalling. You have it. Pokemon catcher. Oh, it's also a tail. There's, an there's another. Two Pokemon. Oh, we hit one finally here. Two tails after a crushing hammer, Pokemon catcher. But now this Pokemon catcher hits a heads. Teal Mask Ogre Pond EX joining us in the active here now for Fernando. 
All right, we're gonna see this Techno Radar here come down, allowing us to search out these future Pokemon. Remember, we only have Iron Thorns. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Which ones are gonna be? You get a PB and J every day. <laughs> Yeah, no surprise there, but hey, that card is exceptional so for these future decks. I mean, I just love the mechanic. I love future decks. We're going to see the Energy Lotto next, and we do have the Energy hitting here, being attached now to that Iron Thorns EX that was just sought out off that, that uh, Techno Radar for Fernando. So we're getting things set up here. What are you thinking about this match so far as far as the pacing between both of these players, Kyle? Yeah, it, I mean, clearly Fernando is grasping at straws, trying to continue to maintain some relevant attacks in this spot, but yeah. missing on these crushing hammers is devastating, and Ian is loving every minute of this. An attack into this Teal Mask Ogre Pond does yeah. nothing against this Rich Drago, and he is licking his chops over there. He's ready for some action. <laughs> what can go down with his hand? Yes, exactly. Trying to figure out what can happen here. Fernando, of course, has the Iron Thorns EX with that super powerful ability in the initialization. Oh, it's the it's Phantom Cologne. And not only this, but you use your Legacy Star and you bring it right back to the hand. That, That's oh, two turns brutal. that, that we're going to be lined so up. Brutal. He's smelling good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, but this uh, Iron Thorns EX has a major strategy here. It is shutting down some of Ian Robb's strategy, but it is not enough here because Ian Robb just has to be able to attach these energy and consistently get some uh, damage on board, these knockouts. I, hey, I guess I can say, Kyle, that uh, at least the prize mapping is pretty easy to figure uh, out. Yeah, two, two, two. <laughs> Sign me up for that basic <laughs> math class. Yes, And you exactly. can tell exactly what the game plan is at this point for Ian. Has options like Prime Catcher in the discard pile. Says, nah, I just want some basic energies. That'll yeah. do. That will do. We see that energy there onto that Teal Mask Ogre Pond here. We're drawing some cards for Ian Robb. Yep, and this is it. You cash in on this opportunity. Use as many of these abilities as you can. You have the retreat lined yeah. into the Reggie Drago. You can probably take a knockout, but also have that opportunity to play it safe and continue to be rolling Woo. the iron. Yeah, look at this, the energy switch as well, just to make sure that Reggie Drago is nice and safe, despite any potential discards that might be coming up from Fernando. And you called it here, rolling the iron. His Suyan Gudra V-Star making its little debut, of course. It's via the Reggie Drago V-Star, Apex Dragon, copying its move, 200 damage, but huge resistance, or should I say, uh, support. How do I say it? Subtracting damage the next Yeah, turn? I've been calling reduction? it resistance, but I don't like no, that. <laughs> well, it, resistance is something else in the Pokemon. Yes. Well, let's say reduction of yeah. 80 damage you on go. your next turn. There you go. Uh, <laughs> the top deck of the turn was that penny, and sure enough, what a great time to see that when your Pokemon's about to be knocked out. Why not just bring yes. all these resources back to the hand and get another 60 damage on your opponent? Another 60 damage indeed. We're going to see all of... Uh, this damage here coming down. That Iron Thorns EX just hanging on here. Of course, it does have that uh, tool card attached to it already. This Iono coming down. That's going to be the free retreat thanks to that future booster energy capsule there for Fernando into this fresh, healthy, nice and ready to go start attacking iron thorns ex it has this incredible ability but volt cyclone only does that 140 damage and that's even uh more debuffed by the double turbo as well as that rolling iron i mean it is just not doing much here kyle against this reggie drago right now and ian rob is flying through this turn so another far. one another one the sixth energy attached to this pokemon ready to roll at this stage and we've seen the one issue now is last turn the iona was played ian lost access to the, the canceling cologne but he does have quite a board presence yeah i think they're just uh, working that out here Sure enough, rolling iron onto the bossed Iron Thorns. One knockout remaining for Ian Robb to get this opening <laughs> victory here in the top eight match. Top eight match. What is good. this hand? 
It's over. Oh, it's over. Ian Robb, just two prize cards uh, away to take and flip <laughs> the last two prize cards that were both Reggie Drago V. I mean, it's just priceless to see that. Yeah. Flips both of them like, yep. Didn't have anything else there. I was you didn't barely know, but on. I had a hand tied behind my back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, he didn't show it at all. Ian Robb taking down this Iron Thorns EX in a dominant fashion here in our first top eight match. I'm sure he's feeling good right now. Everything seemed to go his way despite this Iron Thorns EX shutting down a lot of his deck there with that initialization ability. Yeah, I feel like Ian was expecting a deck like this with the way that we see the deck list laid out. Yeah. He's got all the answers. He knew the perfect strategy. That squawk ability looked so cool. It finally got to do its job, and its job wasn't just to throw away a hand yeah. and sit there the rest of the game. It attacked. It did its job. It hit the discard pile. Let's see it all over again. Yes, let's see it again. Did he even squawk and seize? I don't even think it did. You can't. Oh, oh yeah, you can't. You can't. He's, oh. his, his poor little beak. <laughs> it, was, it was wrapped Not up. up. <laughs> exactly. Oh, yes, that Iron Thorns EX, so powerful there. Oh, it looks like we're getting started here in our game two between these players. They are flying yeah. here through this matchup. I thought we'd have another five minutes as I we know. search for a Pokemon, but here we are. Yes, here we are indeed. That first energy coming down here for, for Fernando. We're passing over now to Ian Rob. I'm glad that we worked out the uh, the mulligans this time. <laughs> uh, we're starting off with a nest ball here. So I think the strategy that we're gonna see from Ian Rob is gonna be very similar. Just secure those energies down. Make sure that you have those uh, those future turns set up. And like like we talked about, two, 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 and you're uh, into top four. Yeah, this is maybe a little different this time around. <laughs> Finding the one of switch, the squawk ability, the energies in the discard pile, and even some of those additional resources that he had in the discard is by way of dragon type Pokemon. All of those are really hard to do without the additional mulligans. So that's good true. see this played that's a little true. slower, perhaps celestial roar, just start to work your way through. <laughs> that is very true. There were so many additional cards for so long for Ian Robb in that last game, thanks to those mulligans. These are the prize cards as well for Ian Robb. Dragapult EX in there. One of the Ogre Pond. Oh, and the MVP Squawk Billy. Billy. No. Not the Billy. Squawk Billy EX in the prize cards. It is uh, pretty low there, but you saw how that motivate was great for the strategy here to start getting those energy out. And uh, it's uh, quite sad seeing that it's not going to be flying around here for Ian Robb. Yeah, it's not the end of the world. This is an attack that you can use in the mid game as well. If yes. the opponent does get off to that great start, use the crushing hammers and maybe Fernando just lines up a board that has no energy on the other side and just continues to attack, attack, attack. You can take that turn off, use motivate and maybe mount that comeback. And we saw Ian was able to do that pretty quickly. The only prize cards Ooh. last game were the squawk ability. Exactly. Well, we saw that Celestial Roar off of that Reggie Drago. Discard top three cards, and then if any of them are energies, you can attach them to the Pokemon. Unfortunately, uh, it was not. It was a V-Star, a Teal Mask Ogre Pond, and an Earthen Vessel. All very uh, pivotal resources there for Ian Robb. Over on Fernando's side for this next turn. This is our second turn. You can play a supporter here, Colrus's Tenacity, Stadium card, and an Energy card. Uh, being available to be sought out of the deck with that card. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's a, a unique supporter that we see in uh, similar decks like this. Just you need a couple things to get rolling. And yeah. any access that you can find to the double turbo, you need to accept that. We've seen energy lotto in these decks so that you can search out this energy. It's so vital to have that turn to attack and start putting some pressure on. Yes. And Fernando's doing just that. Yeah, pressure indeed. Lost City being played here and then straight into that Bolt Cyclone. Now that we have that double turbo attached, we have all the energy requirement needed and that damage is going down onto Ian Robb's side, putting a little bit of a timer on him here. We have that damage, Reggie Drago V. We are gonna be playing a, an Ultra Ball here, discarding two cards to search out another Pokemon for Ian Robb. But uh, yeah, a little bit of a timer here, lots of damage coming down and we're gonna have to see how he's able to respond yeah this is i i mean if i caught the hand right i th i think there's an opportunity here uh it looked like canceling cologne was in hand so oh you right. just go for it right Ooh. here legacy star let's see some unique help 
yeah. There's you're... access to what? Earthen Vessel potentially here. You could find some help. Uh, let's, let's just play it safe. Yeah. It looks like Nest Ball. Well, Earthen Vessel's already there. Oh, we're flying. Oh, my oh. goodness. Is it all there? Earth He's what? got the energy switch. He's over. got everything. Oh, my gosh, Kyle. Ian Rob taking down this Iron Thorns EX in a dominant 2-0 victory here in our first top eight match at the World Championship.